Okay, time to do a complete systems check. Water's hooked up. Okay, let's go aboard. Now this is a 180 horsepower Merc Cruiser. And a lot of money was spent taking care of a lot of mechanical uh, problems it's had because it was sitting up for seven years. So what uh, I've done is uh, Jim's had Jim's commission them to uh, basically fix everything on this boat. So let's uh, test everything out. Lights, all that. Okay. We got cabin lights. We got this light up here. And we got the Ford, the Ford light up there. Okay, let's put our turn everything on. Alright. So let's test everything. area lights on lights on the forward lights on and let's see if I can do this without there we go lights on beautiful now also what I did I put rubber on here because this is getting chipped up just from years of banging so now that closes quietly instead of slamming down okay now okay we know that's working And we know the depth finder works too. We've already tested that before. Yep, okay. Compass. Auxiliary little port to mount stuff. The 110, I haven't tested this yet or the uh, cigarette lighter outlet, whatever, okay? Good. Trick charging system. Four 
17 perfect. The only thing is, being I got this boat tilted, I can't read any gas, but I know there's gas, there's gas in here. 512 hours. there we go okay everything's working looking good test this light in here we go working perfect fire extinguishers safety gear vest porta potty okay pretty cool Everything's functional, man. Everything's working. Everything's operating as it should. Let's get down, cut off the water. Ah, it's a little tricky. Ah. Last thing I wanna do is bust my ass. Okay, also too, what I wanted to address is this bottom paint. Now, I know a lot of guys commented that this is not the right stuff to put on this bottom paint, okay? Or put on the bottom of this hull. This is not anti-fouling. This is not the stuff that you use for a boat hull, okay? But what I got for $15 and somebody says, Tom, you wasted your money. And I'll be honest with you, for $15, how can you be wasting money? Look, let's get out in the sun. I read the entire instructions on this thing. And you know what? This stuff here covers it all. And no, it's not a boat anti-fouling paint, okay? But, it's got so many surfaces that you can put this on. It's not even funny. This is even good for concrete, okay? This is just, like I said, $15. Versus if you get true bottom paint for a boat, is $150, okay? Now, here's the method to the madness, okay? As you guys know, I always have some sort of angle on everything. And yes, I am somewhat of a cheapskate. I'm not going to sit there and tell you I'm not because I am. I look for deals on everything. I don't care. Number one, I hated looking at the ugliness of this bottom paint, okay? That was number one. It was just ugly, okay? And I didn't want to spend $150. But you also have to keep in mind, keep this in mind, boys and girl. What do you think? What do you think bottom paint is used for? It's for boats that stay in salt water, okay? It protects against barnacles and all kinds of other crap that attaches to the fiberglass, okay, to the hull. If you, had, if you go out and buy any ocean boat, okay, none of them have bottom paint put on it. That is only for people who leave their boats in the water. Guess what? I'm not leaving this boat in the water. Okay, so this serves a perfect, perfect, it, it does what I want it to do. Okay, first off, to clean this ugly looking bottom up. Plus, it's the right color. And it has just enough properties to it that it's going to stick to the hull. Okay, it's going to make it look pretty. And it's going to protect the fiberglass. Now, if I was going to leave it in the water, I would use anti-fouling boat bottom paint. At $150 a gallon. That's all I'm trying to tell you. 
God, you guys always bust my balls on everything. Good God. And especially Steve Austin, man. I know you mean well, you know, about my channel and the things I do and don't do, the things I say and don't say, and the things I follow up and don't follow up on. You know, it's my life. I'm trying to live the, the way I see fit, you know? I can't live my life through, the, uh, f through others. Now, I always listen to all your opinions and also listen to all your, all your crap you throw my way. But you know what? This is just a blog, man. I'm just having fun. I'm semi-retired, man. Give me a break. You know, I got $10,000 in this boat. Go find you a boat now for 10 grand. Go find one. You're not going to find one. It doesn't matter if I got a cheap $15 paint job on the bottom, but it damn sure looks good. That's all I'm trying to tell you. It damn sure looks good, baby. That's all I'm talking about, because now when people roll up and look at it, they'll say, damn, we'd never guess it's 37 years old. That's what it's all about. Take it one thing at a time. And remember, I own a lot of crap. <laughs> if I had to spend money on everything that I needed to upgrade on or fix or do this or do that, I'd be broke. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be broke. But you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying. It, you know, it costs a lot of money to maintain stuff. And remember, I just paid 38,000 cash for that. Plus I paid another $21,000 for the Tacoma. And I did that all in one week. You know, this took a second, <laughs> this took second place <laughs> when it came right down to it. Now I'm showing it a little bit of love, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm showing it a little bit of love. So that's what this is all about. I've been working on this thing for the last three days, cleaning it up. I've got it in a coat of wax right now. You know, I got to wipe it off. I got the bottom painted. I got all the systems working. Everything works on the boat. It runs, it rides, it drives. That's all it boils down to. You know what to do. <laughs> That's right. You guys know what to do. <laughs> all your comments, <laughs> all your criticisms, all your critique critiques. Bust my balls every single time. It's all good, man. You know I love you. But, you know, at my age, you have to consider something. At 66 and a half, you know, there's only going to be so many things that I'm going to try to pursue. But the number one thing I'm pursuing is just living a peaceful life. You know, now that I can't afford, I can afford what I want to afford. That's all I can try to tell you. Uh, and as far as, again, Steve, I'm going to keep the town home. You know why? Because guess what? Something like that, that costs $750,000. <laughs> why should I spend $750,000 for a house like that when I live here for free? <laughs> because my, my best friend is my bookkeeper. <laughs> And, and I get to use all the, the, the conveniences. Why should I sell my place just so I can go buy a place like this? No, 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 no. I'm not doing that, man. And remember, the off-grid farm only costs $430 a year to own, okay? That's my taxes. So... <laughs> It's some of the cheapest storage in the world. Plus, I got a little house out there that's fully furnished. And if I want to stay out there, and I do on weekends sometimes, I go out there and hang out. The bottom line, it's some place for me to go, and it costs me virtually nothing, okay? And I got all my toys out there, man. I have four acres for 35 bucks a month. Where are you going to find that? Plus, I can stay here for free. And I got my townhome, which only costs me less than... 900 a month okay less than 900 a month i make way more than that and so just social security alone so i'm living free so i'm getting to do what i want when i want how i want it and if i want to use 15 dollars boat paint that's not boat paint i'm going to do it and let me tell you something though this stuff is an acrylic enamel so guess what? It's got a hardener in it, okay? I know you guys didn't know that, but this is some really, really tough paint. It's the same crap that I used to paint this concrete.
Okay? Same stuff. And this has been holding up for over a year from just walking traffic and stuff like that. So that's going to do fine for my purposes. All right. <laughs> Sorry about the rant. But you guys crack me up, man. Every time I read the comments, I try to logically give you guys back an answer, you know, something logical that makes tries to make sense of the whole situation. You know, but you guys, <laughs> you tear me up, man. You tear me up. Every time. You're always saying, Tom, you're an idiot. Tom, do this. Tom, you're not doing that. <laughs> but I love you. You know what to do. I'll talk with you tonight. Tom out of here.